Welcome to Linux in the Shell, Episode 5. Today I'm going to be talking about the WC command. That stands for Word Count. Remember, if you've not already read the write-up on the website, or you haven't listened to the audio portion, you're missing the other half of the story. This is just showing you some examples of using the WC command. Finally, I'd like to thank Hacker Public Radio for their support. As always, support Hacker Public Radio. Head on over to hackerpublicradio.org. Check them out. Anyway, let's get on to the WC command. WC command or word count command does essentially that. You present it with a file or a list of files, or you can pipe something from standard in, and it will tell you how many lines, how many words, and how many characters are in the file or those files. So, Notice in here, I have a few files. We'll start with poem.txt. So if I look at poem.txt right there, you see that file? Now if I were to type wc poem.txt and hit enter, that tells me the first entry is the number of lines, and you can count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine lines. It has 40 words in there, and if you want to pause this and count the words, that's up to you. Uh, Take my word for it, or take WC's word for it, there are 40 words. And then characters. There are 215 characters in here. You can count them all up. So, you can get those individually by typing, let's clear that out, WC, L, poem. That will give you the number of lines. Nine lines in poem.txt. You can type WC, W poem.txt, and that will give you the number of words, 40 words in there. Now, note that when it counts words, it will count individual letters and numbers, punctuation, as words. So, for instance, if you look at this list.txt right there, you notice there's a number of lines there. There's a lot of words, but there's also just letters and numbers. So if I were to do wc list.txt, it's shows me 58 words so that's each individual count of those characters so if I do WC H oh, sorry WC help that tells me all the options that I can use there so for characters or bytes I can use M so if I do WC M list that text I get 58 WC B list bytes whoop sorry WC C list for characters, I get 58. Essentially, each character is one byte uh, in a single byte character set. If you're using a multi-byte character set, you might get a different number, but each one of these characters is equivalent to one byte. So when I do WC list, as I did before, I get that 58. So if I were to edit list with VI and do just add a symbol in there, and I do WC list.txt now see I have added an additional two characters in there and you might be saying well where did those two characters come from huh I've also added another line and everything so you see now it's gone from one additional line one additional word two additional characters so if I were to do list again at the bottom and type D and do the same thing I now get two additional characters. What's happening there? Well, you would be smart to say that you, even though you cannot see it in VI, there is a new line character in there that's being counted. So it counts that. So that's where you're getting the additional, the additional character or word in there. So if I do WC M for words, I get 62. If when I do WC C for characters, it gets 62, so you're getting the new line characters in there. So stuff that you can't see might still be counted. And you notice there really isn't a way to extrapolate that information or to ignore the new line characters unless you actually um, delete them from the file, and then you get something completely different. Anyway, getting back to the word count list, clear that up a second. Uh, WC home that gives me a list of nine lines 40 words 215 characters total now you saw when I did WC help there was another option in there called 
dash L or max line length, and that prints the length of the longest line. So if I do WCL poem, you'll find that the longest line is 35 characters long. Uh, it doesn't tell you which line it is, but it just tells you that the longest line is 35 characters long. As I said before, you can do something like this, cat, poem, and pass it to WC. And if you don't specify anything, it acts like it normally does. If you were to specify as a dash, it shows the dash over there where the file name usually is. Now notice it doesn't know the name of the file, so when, in the first one, when it passes it right here, there is no file name, but over here it does a dash. That's, that's particularly important because I had said that you can pass multiple files in here. So if I did pass list.txt and poem.txt and hit enter, what that does now is it lists each one on its individual line but also totals them for a grand total. So if I were to combine the two that I just did, let's go cat poem.txt and pass it to wc dash for the what's coming in from standard in and list.txt, I kind of get the same output but I don't have it telling me poem.txt up there and list.txt so it's just dash, it totals them up. So be aware of that. You can have the output of a command piped right into WC to get a word counter, a line counter, a character counter, all three of those. Uh, the last one right there that I want to talk about is a little confusing, and that's file zero from dash from equals F. And that means it reads input from file specified by null terminated names in file F. If file F is standard in then it reads names from standard input now this is a a rather complicated option so be aware of this um, it expects you to list a bunch of files but instead of terminating the files with what may typically be a, a, a line break it's expecting a null an ASCII null I had created this and file list.txt and you can see right here ASCII null. So if I deleted those two, what you do to get the ASCII null is I hit the I for the insert, I hit control V and the character one zero. And when I'm done there and hit escape, it puts it in there. So I hit control V and one zero and hit escape and it puts that in there. That is the null ASCII character in VI. Control V one zero escape. Now I can write that out. Now if I did that and I said WC file zero from equals file list text, it works, but it kind of throws an error here. It's looking for another file, but no such file or directory exists. Um, I really, what was happening is VI, I believe is, is even though I have the null ASCII character on the end, it's still at the end of the line. It's interpreting a a, I, I assume a new line character there which is why I'm getting this error message uh, it kind of works in the info it tells you uh, another way of doing this an example it gives down here for finding dot name and instead of right here in this in this here print zero will print the ASCII null instead of a new line character and pass it to the WC command so for instance I could do that find here name asterisk.txt and normally if I did print I would get it like that but I can do it like this and it prints it out all in one line so without the new line character so I could pipe that to WC from uh, files zero from equals dash for imp standard in and it it gives me that just like that as you can see how it works I got the uh, the count for each one of these individual files in there. WC command, word count command, very basic, very easy to use, very informative if you want to know total number of characters or, or anything in there. Uh, so it, it's pretty good. Now I encourage you to explore it further, read the info page, read the man page. There's really not much more to it. Uh, I thank you very much and you have a great day. Have a happy.